Pirelli number one. First of all, every major scale has seven notes. Every pentatonic scale has five. That means you've cut two out. The major scale loses four and seven. That means you cut out, in this case, the A and the D sharp. Translate to the low E string. And play all your static major pentatonics. Make sure you're alternate picking. Okay, do the same thing with the minor. The minor also cuts two, but it cuts out the two and the sixth. So that means F sharp and C. Transfer to low E. And do your static scales. You get the idea? Minor pentatonics have no half steps. Instead, they have two minor thirds, which are three fret intervals. Here's your first one to open to G, and then you have one from B to D. Major pentatonics the same way. Okay, scar tissue is based on the interval of the tenth, just like Blackbird. Uh, eight and ten, A and uh, B strings to start. This became low E string. This became six and three, and the frets here are eight and nine. Use one and two so you can slide them to ten. Slid it back, the high voice first and then the low voice, like this. So the first move is. Actually, on that second pull off, let me describe the second move. You start the same way, but bar, so you can get the uh, B string eighth fret, like this. And then do the same slide. Hold it, double pull off G string 12th fret, and pinch on the second one. So the second move is. That was a little rough, but you get the idea. Okay, Hazy Shade Part 1. Um, you have to do this awkward thing where your first finger covers A and D, A and, no, 6 and 5. And then this covers a G, a B string third fret, E string second fret. So you get this chord. It's hard for me to play it that way, but your hand seems to respond to that. So a series of hammer ons. And then a series of hammer ons going up two to four on the low E. to a D chord, and now your bass starts by going 6, 5, and then it does this little thing that goes 5, 4, 6, like this. So it becomes... Hopefully that conveys most of the information. Uh, good luck with that. Have fun.